Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, if you're here in the US, I guess if you're not, I hope you just had a good week. <laughs> but for those of us here in the US, um, I know Thanksgiving probably looked a lot different this year, but I hope that you were at least able to enjoy with the immediate family members in your house. Um, hopefully you were still able to prepare a yummy meal. Um, I know that it looked a little different for us this year as well. Um, and we can't wait until next year when hopefully things are sort of back to normal and we can have just a huge family get together again. So anyway, it's time for Friday favorites and flops. Um, over the last couple of days, you have seen some sale suggestion videos. And um, I hope that those were helpful as you are beginning your holiday shopping. I know that um, most Black Friday shopping is a little different this year, and I know most of us are doing it online, and there really are some great sales that are happening with a lot of different companies. So if you missed any of those videos, I will definitely link them down below. Um, so if you're looking for my suggestions are probably all going to be mostly centered around like beauty type stuff. Um, but there's obviously lots of other great sales happening <laughs> on clothing and electronics and all that stuff. Um, I know that I still have to get started with Stella's, uh, Stella's holiday shopping. She's, she's writing her letter to Santa. <laughs> so hopefully, um, I can intercept that letter and, um, See what you know she's talking to Santa about and hopefully get some ideas <laughs> so um, all right you guys I'm going to start with this is something that I will have already told you about in I think it would have been Wednesday's video um, the dossier perfumes okay so um, I do I did join their like partner program I really love these fragrances, you guys. If you are looking for some amazing designer fragrance dupes, you have to check out Dossier. Um, the last time that they sent me a, uh, a package, one of the ones that I specifically requested was their Floriental Cedarwood this guy right here and I kept the box because I thought you might actually like to see how it comes presented to you so when you place an order from Dossier um, the perfume arrives neatly tucked inside of this box here you have your sample which by the way always test the fragrance on yourself with this sample because if you find that it doesn't work well with your body chemistry or it doesn't last as long as you would like it to, um, you can totally send this back <laughs> and either get a replacement of a different scent or get a refund. Um, they do guarantee their perfumes, which I think is amazing. So as long as you don't use the, um, you know, the full size bottle that they sent you, and I've actually just for this scent been using the little sample guy. These are fan, if, if this scent works out for you, this is, fantastic to pop into your purse so that as you're out, like running your errands or whatever, um, maybe during more normal times, <laughs> you can give yourself a little spritz and a refresh. Um, but this particular scent I was super excited about. By the way, Dossier is a cruelty-free company, which I love. And they do send you a neat little card that actually tells you um, the, the notes, the top, middle, and base notes. It tells you what the fragrance is inspired by. So um, yeah, um, by the way, these are made in France and they only use clean ingredients. So, okay, you guys, this scent is, a, uh, is inspired by uh, Mugler's Alien. Eau de Parfum. I have wanted that particular fragrance for a really long time, but it's an expensive one. <laughs> it is one of the few um, perfumes that I would say that even I have been like, ah, that price point is up there. And it's not something that I would buy for myself. First off, I don't even know if uh, Mugler is uh, cruelty free. So I should probably look into that, but <laughs> that should have been my first thing to look into. 
but just the price point of it was just kind of one of those things where I was like, oh, I can't justify this for myself. You guys, the Floriento uh, cedar wood here smells exactly like it. So the notes in here, um, the top notes are mandarin, cardamom, orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, sandback, cedar wood. The base notes are heliotrope flower, amber, and vanilla. The base notes of amber and vanilla, perfect. I love this scent and this particular perfume wears so well with my body chemistry. It's such a warm and cozy floral scent to me. I, I love it. I love this. When I finish this bottle, I'm going to immediately repurchase this. This is one scent that I just want to douse myself in. It smells exactly like the real thing. I can't get enough of it. And in case you guys didn't see the video on Wednesday with um, what the sale is with Dossier, they're having an up to 50% off sale. So you can get two different fragrances from $58 um, and then you would pay $9 shipping. However, if you purchase three fragrances or more, you get free shipping and you also save 20%. Uh, if you purchase four or more of their fragrances, you save 30%, five or more, 40%, six or more, 50% uh, off. These are a really good, good deal, you guys. So um, I'm just gonna pull up, is it in here? These range in price, by the way, from like $29 to, um, some of them are a little bit more expensive. They're in like the $30 price range because the um, the oils that they use are a little bit more expensive. They're basically using all of the same oils that the major perfume companies do. Here's the thing though, they don't have the outrageous um, advertising budgets or, um, you know, they're not sold at retailers like Macy's or Sephora or Ulta. So they just don't have the markup that like the major perfume companies do. So anyway, I had to tell you guys about this sale again and about this particular scent because if you're like me and you love the Alien perfume, I would suggest getting it from Dossier instead of buying the real thing because I've, I've tried the real thing on in store. Like whenever I would go into Sephora before, <laughs> before they wouldn't let you use the testers, um, I would always spritz myself with that one and it just, just love the scent, but I could not justify the price point. I can justify the price point of this for sure. So I'll put links down below. Amazing. Love it. Okay. Let's do, let's do some hair. All right. I did my little, uh, worth the splurge on the Gisu products. Um, I actually really like these, you guys. If you watched that video, you know that it was definitely a situation of, I think my sniffer was just off on the day where I hauled these guys. Gisu is a newer um, brand that originated from the Netherlands. Um, they're newer to Sephora. It's spendy. I mean, these, the heat protectant alone for like 6.8 ounces is like 41 bucks. It's expensive. Do I think it's worth it? I do think there are a couple of products that are definitely worth trying, especially the mask. And I think even the heat protectant is totally worth trying. Um, but I think even just the shampoo and conditioner is fantastic. Sephora does have smaller sizes of the shampoo and conditioner that are 13 bucks each. So if you just want to try it out, that might be a good way to do it. Um, I'm glad that I gave these a chance because they work incredibly well with my hair. Leaves my hair soft, hydrated, um, just very silky and shiny. And I, I used the shampoo and conditioner this morning and then the heat protectant and then just a tiny bit of mousse in my hair to give it a little bit more like manageability. But look at how shiny my hair is. Like it just, it's jiving with my hair. So again, I'm glad that I didn't take it back just based off of my initial scent um, reaction because that wasn't great. The products are, they don't smell the very best, especially based on the price point, but I do think they smell good. But better than that is they work incredibly well on my hair. So if you have a similar hair type to me, 
I would suggest checking them out if if you want to blow some money on some shampoo and conditioner. Um, they also have just a a little set where you can try several of the products. I'll link that down below as well. All right, let's do some skincare. Uh, first off, uh, I have been doing a peel on my face, <laughs> which is great, uh, but it is it's causing my face to peel a little bit. In fact, right now, right now my nose is a little tight and dry and uncomfortable because it's getting ready to um, molt like a snake, basically. Um, so I am using this quite a bit. I love this stuff. This is the COSRX Propolis Ultra Light Ampule. If you have oily skin, you should try this. This absorbs so quickly. And man, does it soothe and heal my skin. Also, gonna give another plug for this guy because I love it so much, the Centella Aqua Soothing Ampule. These two together on my face, just delightful. Um, this is also from COSRX, by the way. Um, you can get, uh, I think you can get this one at Ulta. This one I bought off of, what was it, Amazon? I can't remember. Anyway, I'll link them down below. Fantastic duo if you are dealing with tight, dry, either, um, peel skin if you're doing a peel or something like that or you just have that tight dry like winter skin but you also have oily skin so you got to be careful about the amount of hydration you use during the daytime this fabulous for the daytime love it great combo um and then also uh this week i've been doing i did a couple of these um these are the line smoothing hydro masks from city beauty which by the way if you missed that video City Beauty is having a 50% off sale. If you use my code, I think it's Mr. Kong's mom, I'll have to put it down below. Um, you can get 50% off, which is an amazing deal at City Beauty, which is why I did a whole separate video for City Beauty, because there are so many things that I would love for people to be able to try, but I understand that for the most part, the brand can be kind of cost prohibitive. They're, they have luxury pricing, darn near. So, um, I know a lot of you want to try things from them, but you just can't justify the price point. With 50% off, I feel like you should give it a go if you've been wanting to try some things. And one of the things that I live for and that I will be ordering uh, myself a couple boxes of are these line smoothing hydro masks. They're fabulous. Also the supplements, the reason that my hair is the way that it is, as long as it is, as healthy as it is, as thick as it currently is, is because of those City Beauty supplements. So I'll link those down below as well. Um, this would be the time to pick those things up because 50% off is unheard of in terms of savings uh, at City Beauty. So anyway, loving these for my post peel skin. So soothing. I keep these in my Vanity Planet Freya fridge thing in the bathroom and man does it feel good to put in like just this beautiful cold soothing sheet mask on your skin. It is delightful. I love it. All right let's talk some makeup guys. These hourglass blushes. I just cannot get enough of them and I've been using them a lot this week. In fact I'm still using um, the Euphoric Fusion from this Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the Diffused Heat Palette. Now, I bought this off of Ulta because Hourglass is not at Ulta, but these are selling out like hotcakes because they're amazing. These are the size of the pans that I would like to see Hourglass do for their limited edition holiday palettes. Um, I would pay more. I, I would pay more. Honestly, if they just made the pan size this size right here and then did like a six pan or an eight pan i would pay more just to be able to actually get my brush in and not pick up another color or a highlighter or a bronzer or something because i like bigger blushes like this is my blush brush she's I need big brushes because I have a giant gourd, you guys. Like, I can't be in here with like tiny little blush brushes, like applying brush or blush all day long. I need substantial and I need to be able to get it into the pan without hitting the other ones. And I can do that with this. These three pans are fabulous. So I think all but one is currently sold out. They will be back in stock. I'm positive of it. Um, but these are fabulous absolutely love it and the highlighter in here is my favorite it's the diffused light um, and then the bronzer I still have not used because well it's winter and 
we don't need to warm this up. It's fine. It just is what it is right now. And then Sublime Flush. You guys, this shade is absolutely stunning. If you are a, mm, I would say, olive, tan, or deep skin tone, this is, this is gonna be a little bit too light for you. But if you are medium, light, porcelain, uh, translucent, this is beautiful. Um, I just, I love these blushes, you guys. I know that they are super expensive, but there is nothing that gives me a glow like these hourglass blushes do. That being said, I've also been wearing this Lawless uh, Velvet Lush in Vintage Love a couple times this week as well. Um, I, I, this is a great blush as well. Now this doesn't give me the like almost inner glow that the hourglass does, but it's also a beautiful blush for sure, and these are less expensive. <laughs> so if you need something that's a little bit more budget friendly, I would go with the Lawless, but man, if you just splurge on one or two of your favorite hourglass blushes, you could just wear those all year and look like amazing. All right, lips this week, mostly glosses again. Um, I go back and forth on like lipstick, lipstick with gloss, just gloss sometimes just lip balm this week it's been a gloss week and the two are the fenty gloss balm in fussy and then the buxom full-on lip polish in sugar which is beautiful these are actually both kind of similar mm, yeah uh but very pretty and uh, like for example today it's just fussy on my lips there's no there's no lip liner there's no lipstick i just didn't I didn't feel like putting it on and that's fine because <laughs> this makes me happy and then on my eyes this week I have been playing with these um, I actually have both of these on my eyes today I went with a really natural look for today these are the brand new Viseart Petit Four palettes obviously Leela's is my favorite I did do an in-depth video on these already if you missed it I'll link it down below and then uh, Frambois Oh, this is beautiful. I love the framboise. In my initial video, I said these should just be put in like a palette together and they'd be perfect. I've also played with the Praline palette. Is it Praline? Which one is it? No, it's not Chocolat. I have yet to use the Chocolat, but the Praline. This one's beautiful too, you guys. Uh, I will be doing tutorials during December. So, um... I will do the tutorials with these because they're beautiful and I love them. Um, and they're 22 bucks. They're a screaming deal. So I'll link these down below. All right, you guys, I think that's all that I have for today. Yep, that's it. The rest of the stuff in front of me are candles that I need to put away. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I do have some home fragrance stuff coming up this weekend. Uh, if you're interested in that, those videos will go up Saturday and Sunday. Otherwise, I will see you here again next week for... Oh my gosh, we already have to do beauty empties and candle empties and it is the beginning of December and how, how did we get here? <laughs> this year is flying by you guys. Um, anyway, have a great rest of your day. Have a beautiful weekend and please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.